Hi, good afternoon. We're gathering in to the Senate Hawaiian Affairs Committee hearing, 1 p.m. And before we start, some announcements. Um, I'm Senator Miley Shimabukuro, Chair of the Committee. Other members are Vice Chair Kirk Pavella. Um, we also have member Herbert Tim Richards and members Leslie Hara and Jared Kiyohokolo. This hearing is being streamed live on YouTube. You can find links to viewing options for all Senate hearings and meetings on the live and on-demand video page of the legislature's website. If you're interested in seeing written testimony, go to the legislature's website at capital.hawaii.gov. In the unlikely event we'll have to abruptly end this hearing due to major technical difficulties, the committee will reconvene to discuss any outstanding business on, um, let's see, that would probably be next week, Tuesday, uh, in room 224 um, in this room, so a week from today. Uh, and we'll post on the legislature's website. For the people testifying remotely, all testifier audio will be muted and video disabled until it's your turn to testify. As is the committee's practice, there's a two minute time limit per testifier, which we may or not may not implement today. Um, if there are temporary technical glitches during your turn to testify, we may have to move on to the next person due to time constraints. We appreciate your understanding and remind you that the committee has already received your written testimony. A reading list of people who submitted written to most testimony for each measure. We apologize if the closed caption doesn't accurately transcribe the names. Again, if you're interested in seeing written testimony, go to westcapital.hawaii.gov. And members, please wait to ask your questions until all testifiers have gone through um, the list. Okay, so we will begin first with HB 37. This abolishes the Native Hawaiian Rights Fund of the Office of Hawaiian Affairs, as recommended in the auditor's report number 22-02. And first we have OHA in support. Okay, second, we have Tax Foundation of Hawaii with comments. Oh, hello. Zoom? Uh, yes, hi, good afternoon, Chair and members of the committee. This is Jade McMillan on behalf of the Tax Foundation of Hawaii. Uh, we will stand on a written comment submitted for this measure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next, we have um, Julia Estegoy Kahoone, opposition, and Johnny May Perry, opposition. Anyone else for HB 37 wants to testify? Seeing our members' questions. Okay, seeing none, we're going to move on to HB 1058. This requires an adopted individual to be considered a child of both the adopted and natural parents for the sole purposes of determining familiar relationships, including for the purposes of the Hawaiian Homes Commission Act. And so first we have DHHL in support. Thank you. Next, Johnny May Perry, support. Marion Kapuniai, support. Patrick Kahavaiola'a, opposition. Anyone else here for HB 1058? Seeing none, members, any questions? Okay, moving on to the last measure, HB 1508. Appropriates funds to certain departments to improve Native Hawaiian communities and culture through various assistance services. First, we have um, CNHA in support. Aloha. 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 Um, Hi, Aloha. Aloha, Chair, Vice Chair, members of the committee, Sterling Wong for CNHA. Uh, we stand on our written testimony in strong support of HB 1508. Mahalo Nui. Mahalo. Thanks. Next up, we have um, DLNR in support. Okay. And then we have DBED in support. Aloha, Chair. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next, we have the Kapolei Chamber of Commerce in support. Hi, Kieran. Aloha, Chair, Vice Chair, members of the committee. Kieran Polk, Kapolei Chamber of Commerce, and we stand on our written testimony that we submitted as well. Mahalo. Mahalo. Office of Hawaiian Affairs with comments. Uh, Dana Keave, support. Johnny May Perry, this is all in support. Um, Yoshito Lahote, support. And then um, Kenneth Conklin, opposition. Anyone else here for HB 1508? Seeing none, members, any questions? Okay, and members, I think um, I'm ready to make my decisions. Did you folks want to recess first? Or we're good going straight into it? That's okay. Okay, okay, all right. 
So we're going to go ahead and start. Um, House Bill 37, this abolishes the Native Hawaiian Rights Fund of OHA pursuant to Auditor's Report 22-02 recommendation. Um, the recommendation is to pass with technical amendments as recommended by SNA. Any questions or concerns? None, the Vice Chair. Okay. Chair votes aye. Vice Chair votes aye. Senator Ihara, excuse. Senator Kehoe Kolole? Aye. Senator Richards? Aye. All right. Okay, motion passes, Chair. Thank you so much. HB 1058, this requires adopted individual to be considered a child of both the adopted and <coughs> parents for the sole purpose of determining familial relationships, including for purposes of the Hawaiian Homes Commission Act. Recommendation is to pass as is. Um, any questions or concerns? Any other vice chair? All right, the House Senator is present in the Hawaiian Affairs Committee. Any names? Oh, it has. Yeah, yeah. Four yeah. members, yeah. Yeah. For, for all four, uh, four members present and Senator Ihara has applied to you. Oh, all members oh, present. Yay. All members are present. <laughs> Do we have any needs for uh, uh, reservations? Okay, motion passes. Thank you. And then finally, HB 1508 appropriates funds to certain departments to improve Native Hawaiian communities and culture through various assistance services. Recommendation is to pass with technical amendments as recommended by SMA and noting the concerns um, raised by OHA and DLNR in the committee report. Okay. Any questions or concerns? Okay, seeing none, now the vice chair. Well, Senator is present in the Hawaiian Affairs Committee. Do we have any names? Any reservations? Okay, Senator, um, your question. Okay, thank you so much. We are adjourned.